as you all know, the opposition media network is the leader in exposing the lies that exist all around us. But I can't do all the exposing by myself here at this desk. That's why I have citizen journalists who go out into the world and expose themselves. They also cover stories. Two of them recently did just that, Josh Sharp and Aaron Jackson. Guys? Uh, you went out into the field into some pretty dicey territory. Yeah, the diciest, Jordan. This past weekend, there was a big lefty march in D.C. called the March for Racial Justice. Now, as we all know, liberals don't believe in anything, which is why they have to be paid to show up. So we decided to go and blow the lid off these walking jars of hypocrisy. Ooh, nice metaphor. I've been practicing metaphors. Yeah, it shows. <laughs> it really shows. We were ready, Jordan, and a little scared, but we had to see this nefarious left-wing operation up close. Roll it! For the last year, Trump has been plowing our country into greatness, yet we're seeing heated protests from the violent left. So what's behind it? A lot of these uh, people that protest are professional agitators. We know for a fact that they were paid. Yeah. And I'd like to see George Soros stop funding the organizations. Anytime there is violent protests, bought and paid for by the Hillary campaign, the Democrat Party, or George Soros. That's right. The left pays their protesters. Even our president knows the truth. That's why we were disgusted when we saw Amazon's Washington Post promote the DC local ambassadors, a group that actually helps organize people for marches. The whole thing stank of Soros. Could they be his pawns? We went to find out. Sure, we'd love to hang out in front of Trump Tower all day, but we have a job to do, infiltrating the violent left. Now, we figured out that their headquarters are located in an art gallery, so we're gonna go the... You okay? No, I'm fine. Just art. Right. I'm fine. Okay, let's pick that up. So to make sure that we can go there undetected, we will be deep undercover as liberals. Hello? There she was, the mastermind behind this terrifying training ground. We came with gifts. Oh, lovely. So cookies are vegan. Cookies. And this is a tote bag full of tote bags. Just full of other totes. <laughs> we were in. Now time to interrogate this queen pin of chaos in the adorable beer garden next door. We are a group of volunteers that help support marches and other events in Washington. We help march organizers with logistics, permitting, um, basically all of the different ingredients to make sure that marches go smoothly and are fun. Like we wanted to do a march for uh, gender identity and climate change because a lot of hurricanes are boy names or girl names and we oh. want to give them more gender fluid names. Okay. That's, you know, hitting a lot of buttons. Mm -hmm. Could there be a lot of money for protesters who wanted to come out for that one? We don't pay protesters. Mm. George Soros pays the protesters. I don't think anyone pays protesters. Did you hear that? She said she thinks they don't get paid. And so we think we had a lead. Hi, have a seat, guys. Hey, Obama. Welcome. <laughs> I'm really glad to see so many new faces. We're always looking for new volunteers. Tonight, we're working particularly on the March for Racial Justice. Your team leader will give you a call a couple days before the march, make sure you know where to show up, what to wear, basic things like that. I'm sorry, I, baseball bats, are they provided, or is it BYOBB? Baseball bats? Just for, you know, for a protest. When things Actually, this is non-violent, right. and those of us who are volunteers all say that we are not going to be participating in anything that's violent. Yeah, we say that, and what happens? And, and that's right. not what happens. No, we, we don't. And that's what happens. We do not we participate in violence. Okay. Until we do. No. No. Until we don't. No, we don't. They were clearly stonewalling us, but we pressed on. The next step in their indoctrination was something called de-escalation training. In what sort of seemed like an improv game, we pretended to be march organizers standing their ground against angry counter-protesters. You sound like a busy person. You go ahead and do whatever you want. We clearly passed as liberals. Our subtle and nuanced portrayal had fooled them all. What went well in that scenario? Um, I liked using that tactic that we learned um, to gang up on somebody and, um, that wasn't one of them. and oppress them. <laughs> <laughs> they accepted us as two of their own. Now it was time for the most dangerous part of our mission, going to one of their organized marches and exposing Soros's shady plot. I've got some new 
volunteers for you to check in. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Salutations. This, this piece of paper you keep with you. Okay. It's if you should trip and fall or faint or something. Workers' comp. Not, not workers' comp. Now that we were dressed as figures of authority, they would have to tell us who was paying them. I don't need to be paid to stand up for the obvious, what's obviously right, what is inherently right. That's ridiculous. People get to come and see others, like-minded people, who, who have nothing but love in their heart for people um, who may look different from them. All day they lied to us, claiming they cared about the issues, when we knew they must be there for the cash. Why wouldn't they tell us the truth we already believed? And that's when it hit us. Prop signs, musical numbers, the damn improv games. These people weren't just nobodies off the street paid to hold signs. They were actors, deep in character and masters of their craft, just like us. <laughs> there was only one thing left to do. Excuse me, sir. Sir, are you an actor? No. Damn, that's some good acting. Actor, actor, method, method. That's a scene right there. That's a scene. Actor. All of them off book. I don't see a single script, no sides. Child actor. You're a child actor. These method actors never broke. Clearly, they lived every day as passionate citizens who wanted to strengthen our democracy through civic action. The performance of a lifetime. And that's coming from two of the best actors around. <laughs> uh. Impressive undercover stuff, guys. Josh and Aaron, everyone.